Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you quickly and easily how you can import WAV files into a Studio One session. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, it's simple. Somebody might email you some files, maybe for mixing or mastering, or you're collaborating with somebody. So you wanna create a session, import their work, and then begin taking it from there. Now, one way we can do this here is in a real world scenario, my friend Chuck sent me some files. Now these are all consolidated from zero, all of these, which means when he exported them, they were all from the same starting port. So when I import them, they're all going to begin at zero. It's important to keep that in mind. And also another thing you wanna know is really what the sample rate is of these files. And one quick and easy dirty way to do this is to um, select one of the files, choose open with and go to QuickTime Player. And then under window, choose movie inspector. And it's gonna give you that data, 24 bits at 44.1 Hertz. So it's 24, 44, one. All right, so that's an easy way, if you have QuickTime Player, to uh, get an idea of what that sample rate is if you don't know yet. All right, so now that we know that, let's go to create a song and we'll name it. I'll choose uh, something referencing the um, song title, really quick and easy, Lucky Ones. This, by the way, is a really beautiful song and I'm happy to be part of this. Okay, all right. Now it was at 44 one, 24 bits, perfect. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna create a blank session. There's nothing here. And there's a few ways you can now import that wave data. I can use the file explorer here under our browser. Simply open your browser and navigate to your files. And this will take you anywhere on your computer or your connected storage medium. It's that easy. And then you can open up any one of these and drag the files in. Or I can do it through Finder or Explorer, depending on your operating system. I'm gonna select all the files, select them, bring them into Studio One and let go. And there we have it. The entire session right there ready to go. Now, as you can see, they're all beginning at zero. That's what I meant by consolidated because sometimes if you import audio randomly and you don't consolidate it from zero, you don't really have an accurate starting point as to where they were. So beginning from zero, when you import them all, you know that they're all going to be lined up and that's important. Now that we know the sample rate and the bit depth and we import our audio, keep something in mind. If you want to import further audio into Studio One now, and if it's at a different bit depth and sample rate, Studio One will convert it to match your project session here. So that's really intuitive, and it's another reason why I love working within Studio One. So now you know how to import WAV files and how to get started here in Studio One. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.